All right, figured I'd do a little update on the CBR 900. All right, all right. I got it stripped down. I got to figure out how to get this fixed. See, uh, this don't work. This works sometimes. This one don't never work. Uh, so I got my rim polished. Got a new tire on it. Um, new brakes or brake, what you call it? Brake disc. You see, uh, see, it's kind of misty. I gotta clean it. All that's kind of like grease. I mean, literally grease from me putting it on the bar and sliding it through. But um, yeah, got a polish, man. She looks pretty decent. I got another swing on. Uh, the rear tires in the car. It's been in there for about three weeks. Uh, yeah, got a tore down. Got my gauges here to do the um carburetor adjusting. If those will even work, I don't know. I've seen it on YouTube. Alright, paint. So what's up with the paint, huh? I'll show you guys another project I bought in the meantime. It was too cheap. I couldn't let it pass me by. I'm going to close these doors here. I'll leave it like that. Paint, not good. First time I've ever painted in my life. By the way, this is a new project. It's a 2005 VTX Honda 1300. Uh, it's in pretty rough shape. Well, not pretty rough. It's okay. It's been sitting out a little while. But, um, yeah, they got it built in where you hold the horn down and pump it up. It'll uh, raise it up. There's a gauge here and then a button here. And boop, boop, ch -ch 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 it'll let it out like that. All right, anyway, back to the matter at hand. All right. You can see it from the damn i can see it good over this phone jesus christ look at the paint uh what do you call it orange peel like a mother humper here's where i sanded right here to see if i could get it out and it looks like i'm gonna have to see how i mean a bunch man jeez louise that's a lot it's gonna be a lot of work here's the face from a distance it looks awesome when you get up on it no that don't look see I screwed up, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be honest. I'll tell you what I did. I painted the damn thing, and then put clear on it. I was in a hurry when I should have like sanded it down beforehand. It's uh, that's rain, but I mean, you see, it's orange peel like a mother. All right, I'm doing the tank now. I was just doing this. See how this is water. See how I'm, I'm sanding it in the tank. Is a, oh sh don't do that to me now. See the tank. That's just a soap drop up here. See I'm sanding it. You can see where the parts that I didn't get. Kind of see the clear coat inside the I'm gonna have to sand that down smooth. Right like kind of like this. See that looks pretty good. And you hit it with water. I'm gonna put another uh, coat of black on it. But all them white dots, say I don't know what the hell that's at. I don't know where that come from, but I'll just, I'm gonna paint it again anyway. Put a, uh, another coat of black on it and sand it down again and put clear on it. I'll be done with this, man. The project's just taking too long. I thought it'd be easy, but painting is hard, man. Prep work is hard, okay? Prep work. Hats off to you guys who does painting, man, because that's the, that shit, this, this shit right here. If you don't prep it right, it ain't gonna come out right. I mean, that's just what it is. This is what I just learned. This is the first time I've ever done something like this. So if you don't prep it right, if you ain't got the right tools, the right environment, is what I'm learning. You ain't hitting on nothing. But I'm going to uh, repaint it after I sand it down, and um, then clear it. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sand it down. I'm gonna repaint it again one, with another coat of black. Then I'm gonna sand that down to 800 and then clear it. And then when I do that, I've seen they, if, um, you see uh, online, if I have the orange peel on the clear, which I'm probably sure I will, you sand that down with like 15 or 2000 and then buff it or whatever. If you guys got another way, if you guys seeing this and you know how to paint, um, tell me an easier backyard quick way man because i'm not a professional this is not a show back 
I'm probably gonna ride it and put it in the barn and be done with it. Turn it all right. I mean, it's still, I want that glass look, man. But I mean, who don't, right? Who don't want it? Anyway, that's the update on the CBR. Still working on it, man. Don't, I ain't forgot about it. I'm still working on it. It's just, I got so many freaking things going on, man. I'm a, I own a semi truck and I'm working on it on my own. So I'm, on the weekends, I'm about, uh, almost every weekend, I got something to do with that damn truck. I drive a log truck. So y'all guys, you know, our trucks take a beating. We stay working on that. I painted it with this so that's to clear. I know I went cheap. I meant to because, I mean, like I said, I just wanted black, shiny black, man. Could have went with a spray can, couldn't I? Oh, that was the paint. This is the, that was the clear. This is the paint, jet black. And I used this to clean my gun. Anyway. All right, man. Yeah, that box right here. It goes right here. All right, anyway, that's it. That's the bike, CBR, still working on it. I'm just trying to get it glossy black, and then I'm gonna take it to the uh, graphic shop and have them put the, um, that Orion edition 1997 colors on it. And that's it, man. All right, guys. If you can help me anywhere on this paint, give me some tips. If I'm doing okay, if I said what I said, if whatever I said was okay, let me know. Or else just watch me F up. All right, later.